Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here at the New York Auto Show for 2023. Of course, walking around, we had to stop at the Genesis booth because as you can see, there's something new and something fresh here. What is this? This is an upcoming 2024 Genesis GV80 Coupe. But before we get into this bright orange, slick shaped SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Genesis, that premium brand of Hyundai has only been around since about 2015, but boy oh boy are things changing, not only in the auto industry, but definitely for this brand. Really increasing their lineup, going from strictly just sedans to now bringing SUVs, starting with the GV80, the GV70, and then of course electrifying some of their lineup and bringing a special GV60, which is full electrification. Now, this brand going up against the big players, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Audi, had decided to take their midsize SUV, known as the GV80, and give it a sleeker style. Now, what's interesting is that when they unveiled this vehicle, it was specifically, obviously, being called just a concept. But we now have new information that this vehicle will eventually turn into a true production Genesis vehicle. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this coupe, find out what is so special about it, and see, is it that premium luxury SUV that you want to be parking in your garage? Let's go ahead and check it out. Right off the bat, the presence. There's something about Genesis style that really allows the brand to not only create a specific look that when you know that you see it, it's a Genesis, but it definitely makes it stand out from the rest of the crowd. I like on this coupe how they've done the very sleek lighting. Now, obviously, like I said, the production model will look a little different, but we could see the use of their double stage LED lighting looking really crisp. This is one of those things that no other brand is doing stuff like this. Working your way down, the great news is not only do you have an aggressive look, but you have full functionality, and I'm liking the way on this model we have the use of some carbon fiber. But definitely could see that flared out portion to the front, and it's interesting because it looks aggressive, but it doesn't look too over the top. It still looks classy, and that's what Genesis is all about. Now, as we come across the front grill, I think a lot of people are starting to understand the direction that Genesis is going in with their grill design. Because I remember when they first started coming out with this overall shape, people were thinking that maybe it was too big, but I really think they hit the nail on the head on how they balance the size of the grill with everything else going on. But you have that, like I said, that Genesis specific crisscross pattern. And I love the way everything comes to a nice point on their grill shape. Even the way they incorporated these openings into the front fascia of this coupe and on the bottom portion, full functionality. And of course, you can't go wrong with a little bit of carbon fiber just to give it that extra nice look. But you know, its purpose and an intention with this vehicle. Now, when you get up onto the hood, I think another great thing that they did is how they styled the Genesis badge. That nice flat satin black finish with the Genesis logo there. You have that dip in the center. You know, a lot of vehicles like to go bulge. I like the way Genesis kind of carves out that little center section and just everything flows nicely from the front to the side of the vehicle. Now, speaking of the side, as we come around the block, what are we working with? you're gonna see on this particular vehicle these massive wheels, which obviously, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting choked up because of this Genesis wheel, 23 inch wheel. Now, of course, when they go into production, I don't think we're gonna be seeing a 23 inch wheel, but definitely very brave of them to have such a stylish, seductive looking wheel. I love the way it's got these gloss black accents around the different portions of it. Simple five-spoke design, but like I said, with the accents, it just makes it come alive. You can see that two-piece rotor, massive six-piston calipers, fully cross-drilled and ventilated. And that's gonna be interesting to see what happens with the performance of this GV80 Coupe. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what kind of tire is wrapped around this thing? 285 on the width, 40 series sidewall. And you can see we have those Pirelli Scorpion Zero tires. Now. On this Genesis, just like the rest of them, love the way it's all body colored. You have your side marker lights looking good, and that's another specific design cue of the Genesis brand. You can see designed by Genesis, this being the concept, but like I said, this coupe is gonna come into actual production run. On this particular version we have here, the carbon fiber on the mirror caps, 360 degree cameras, and then from the side, you could see how they were able to get that extra nice shape. It's really sort of reminding me a little bit of the Aston Martin DBX a little bit. 
but I know a lot of people are waiting for an actual two-door coupe, but this being a coupe, you could see that extra sporty aero intention along the bottom portion, nicely done with some gloss black and the carbon fiber. Of course, on the door handles, you're gonna have some gloss black and the color match looking good. Working our way towards the rear, this is my favorite part. So we have those crisp lines coming into the rear fender, and as Lori comes around, you can see just how everything comes nicely into this rear area. That, to me, shows the design intention with that nice flow with the fender into the rear kickup, and then coming around the back, look at what they did. We not only have a low roof spoiler with a carbon fiber roof. I mean, could you imagine if that went into production? But beautiful carbon fiber roof on the back portion. The air comes down, kicks up with this very stylish carbon fiber rear spoiler. Look at the way they did the third brake light. They actually brought the third brake light into the carbon fiber spoiler at the back. Love the way it's got the Genesis logo with that dual bar brake light setup and then dropping it down. You can see just like we started with the grill, you see that overall shape of the grill in the exhaust outlet. We do have functionality all the way across and along the bottom and definitely from the back, this thing looks mean and lean. But why don't we go ahead, let's get inside and see what they're bringing on this GV8. All right guys, we're not allowed inside the vehicle, but they're giving us special access by allowing us to open up the doors and take you inside. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well Joe, this thing is looking pretty sporty. This thing is looking pretty cool. What about power plant? For sure it's still gonna have that twin turbo V6 putting out probably around 375 horsepower hopefully more. I would like to see about 430 horsepower with this coupe, but the big question will be price. We all know that the GV80 comes in around starting price $55,000 and it works its way up. I would expect something like this to be closer to $70,000, but that's still just an estimate. We'll see what the actual final pricing is, but why don't we see what the heck is happening with this coupe to the door panels absolutely phenomenal the microfiber suede material the way that they did all of the wonderful stitching the carbon fiber very sleek very seductive you do have a door pocket but i don't even want to put anything in there maybe five twinkies but leave them in the wrapper because you don't want to bust cream on this beautiful interior going from the door panel to the dash love the orange pinstriping you do have that 14.5 inch infotainment system all the other controls are right at a production setup there. You have your dual climate control, carbon fiber on the center console. We have our direct drive control knob, obviously the leather and the Alcantara material, our different mode selector. And then what's wonderful about the carbon fiber and the trim, look at the seats. Nicely bolstered race style seats with the stitching, with the piping. They are manual adjustment. You, do, you can raise them a little bit, but besides that, manual adjustment, and of course, for five extra horsepower, we have bright tangerine orange seat belts. But why don't we go ahead, let's see if we could get on over to the business side and see what Genesis is bringing on this coupe. All right, guys, the time that you've been waiting for, where you wanna be sitting behind the wheel of this GV80 coupe. I'm gonna get out of the way and just let you go in. Now, if you look at the pedal box, you are gonna get a nice size pedal box, aluminum throttle, brake pedal, and of course, that traditional style on your dead pedal. I like the way they worked all of the orange piping, even with the floor mats, and then of course, the seats. Absolutely stunning, the bolstering. I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with the final production run, and then of course, that steering wheel full Alcantara and leather wrap with the orange stitching. You could tell just like with other Genesis products, no stone goes unturned and you have the full digital gauge display, but they have Alcantara wrap everywhere. That is an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And of course, like I said, the rest of the interior is like a production GV80. Now, of course, this vehicle has four doors. That means you get to share the fun more with people. Let's see what the back seat brings, especially when it comes to room with that lower sexy roof line. Let's get into the back seat of this GV80 coupe. All right, guys, one of the most interesting keys to this Genesis puzzle is the back seat. And what's interesting, some very nice touches, and I think you're gonna be surprised still with the amount of room that you have in this vehicle. So coming on in, you can see those single race style back seats with that bright tangerine orange, looks really good. Of course, you have your center console over there, 
with your rear AC controls, heated and ventilated seats. Definitely want to keep you cool in this vehicle. And then check out the center console. You have a massive O-crap handle with stitching throughout the orange, the white, very, very classy. And the great news is, is not only do the front passengers get the race buckets, the rear passengers as well, because this is all about sharing the fun with more people in this type of SUV. But let me know what you think. Are you excited to see this come into production, the GV80 Coupe? Let me know down in that comment section. We definitely want to thank the whole Genesis team for allowing us access to this astonishing vehicle. They seem to be doing it every year here at the New York Auto Show, bringing these special concept ideas and really wowing everybody. I mean, you can see the amount of people that are standing just drooling over this vehicle. But let me know how you feel about the GV80 Coupe in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. Of course, we got to give it up to Lori, working it like a champ. No matter what the pressure brings, show us some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.